Hello together and in this example I want to demonstrate you how to uh, move a frame or an object here, uh, it's a red border uh, on, uh, on a grid position uh, in WPF uh, Windows Programming. Um, first I'm going to show you how this program works. Uh, it's, it, sh it demonstrates uh, the way that how I may move or position this uh, place, this border around this first uh, rectangle or grid, uh, grid cell or the other uh, uh, position. Now when I push the first button it goes there. Uh, you may see that the border goes around it. Now this looks quite simple but it's not that simple uh, when you do it in uh, WPF programming and uh, the and here's an additional button uh, which shows the positions of uh, of the grid the uh, left border uh, the cell um, the first column um, width and so on and uh, the total width so what I want to tell you here is uh, we have uh, um, a uh, red border which I will use for uh, some uh, to, to show uh, the actual uh, grid cell which is active and in WPF this is a uh, here's a uh, type of border a border control with some stuff and we have <coughs> excuse me we have here the margin and the index is uh, on a higher level, so the uh, the, the border will move uh, above the, the grid. And now, when we go, uh, when we push the uh, the first button, then we are here. Um, now, moving a moving a, or placing an object on a grid uh, on a WPF is. Uh, <sighs> difficult to understand at the first moment uh, the way what I found out uh, the best way how to do is that you position uh, the the control on the left position and on the top position as you do it on a WinForms project so uh, say, say the left and top position and you do it by setting the margin uh, with the left position and the top position and leave the other ones at zero and then you're going to uh, to adjust the alignment. You're setting the alignment to left, and after this, you set uh, you set the width uh, the which you want to have for this control. And the same you do the same with the uh, vertical position. You take it from uh, you you setting here the top position, and then you uh, align it the vertical alignment to top. And then you set the hay which you want to have on your uh, position uh, of your control. Now, when I show it you again, now what we do here is uh, when I push the button, uh, it will set the left position of the grid, and um, of the left, left position of the grid. The other uh, parameters are zero, and then I make the alignment to the left position. Uh, a horizontal alignment left and the width is the width actual is the actual width of the first column so this is the first column and the same will happen on here and as you see here it's a small uh, text box inside so I use this frame um, for uh, uh, for here here we see I have the uh, move um, the, the cursor which marks uh, that the, when the cursor moves above the border position then I get uh, another event so I use this stuff for uh, for um, uh, adjustable frame for example uh, I hope you can use it uh, and you will understand how, uh, uh, how, how this works and you may find the code as a download file 